Fixold Cameras produces step-by-step, close-up videos of simple, common repairs and basic maintenance on classic and vintage cameras. Your ability, the quality of your tools, and the condition of your camera will affect the success of your repair endeavor. A successful completion of the demonstrated repairs ultimately depends on your camera repair skills. A quick fix to repair a damaged bladed shutter. With the aid of a pair of modified tweezers and a slight twist of the wrist, a seemingly irreparable shutter is brought back into immediate service. A word of caution, this procedure relies as much on feel as it does the visual. If approached carelessly, this might be the result. It looks bad, but even so, it can still be made functional. With the damaged blade repositioned properly, the shutter does now work. To better understand how the shutter blades are layered within the confines of the shutter frame, let's take one apart. As the outer frame is removed, the first shim is revealed. With the first shim removed, the first bladed shutter assembly can be lifted free. With the first bladed assembly removed, a separation plate is revealed. Then comes another shutter assembly and followed by another shim. Keep in mind how these elements of the shutter assembly are stacked. Visualizing the shutter construction or assist in sensing the position of the errant blade. The blade or blades must be placed on the proper sides of the divider plate and shims alongside its mates. By modifying a pair of tweezers in the manner shown, the shutter blades are much easier to handle. On a curved pair of tweezers, bend the tips to a slight sideways angle. Take care to match their angles and make sure that the surfaces mate perfectly. Once satisfied with the functionality of the tweezers, the tips will be sleeved with some heat shrink tubing. The tubing on the tips will help protect the shutter blades from being marred as they are manipulated back into place. With the tubing in place on the tips, shrink to fit by fanning a cool flame beneath the tubing. Firmly squeeze the tweezers together while the heat shrink is still warm. So as not to burn yourself, wet your fingers and squeeze the still warm heat shrink to form a flat working surface. If done properly, the tweezers should operate in a manner such as shown here. Now back to the ugly mangled shutter. The blade is grasped with the custom tweezers and twisted in such a manner as not to buckle or crank it and then drop it in the position between the shims pointed out earlier. If placed correctly, you should be able to see that the blades are layered in a stack. Cock the shutter slowly to make sure that the blades do not hang up and buckle again. Even in this ugly mangled condition, the shutter still operates. And when the errant blade was first discovered, had the procedure outlined been followed, the cosmetic damage to this shutter probably could have been avoided. If possible, practice on a junk shutter. Get a feel for how much you can bend the blade before it will buckle and crease. Gently but firmly grasp the shutter blade, lift and twist, and drop into the slot between the divider plate and the shim. Thank you for watching.